And I've got here a lovely bucket of the new Ami. So it's almost August. Ami Magus is long gone, but this is just coming into its stride. Isn't it beautiful? And I've literally just picked a few stems, whacked them in the bucket, left them overnight to condition. And they look this good, just as they are. Incredible, aren't they? So the best thing to do is put the Ami Magus at the very front. Then put your carrot possibly in the middle. Look at that. So we've still got plenty of stems of the wild carrot. And then you can just whip the Ami Magus out first, put something else in right at the very front. So you've got height options. You put the Ami at the back, then you need something taller. We don't really have anything taller at this time of the year. And the wild carrot is so versatile that even when the flowers go over, so I've got a stem here with a flower on it, and then on the same stem, this one's gone over. But don't you think that is just, if not more beautiful than the blue? So gorgeous. I'm gonna make myself an arrangement with this glorious Ami. Now, I quite like using just clear vases because the flowers are so fresh that the clear vase makes it look really clean. However, I think this time I might use a solid vase and that means I can hide inside a piece of chicken wire below the water line and that will just give the stems a bit of gentle support and stop them leaning all to one side. For a super easy natural arrangement, you can just put the stems in a vase just as they are. However, sometimes it's easier to separate the stems like I've done with this one here and then you can place them individually, especially if you're going to be mixing them with other flowers. And then just make sure that we take off any foliage that would otherwise sit below the water line because this will rot in the vase and then that could block the flower stems, stopping them from taking up adequate water and then the flowers might wilt on you. In selecting your stems for cutter, you want to make sure that they're nice and firm under your fingers so that they don't wilt later in the vase. However, sometimes when you pick them, they come with side shoots attached. And it seems to be standing up all right at the moment. With them a helping hand, what you could do is just give them a quick sear in some boiling water and let them rest. And that will expand the area that they're able to take up water. I've got myself a mug of just boiled water, so I'm going to pop the stems in to the water, keep the heads away from the steam, you don't want those steamed, and then just count to about 20 seconds. And then once that's done, plunge them straight into a vase of cool water, and then just leave them to rest, and hopefully that will give them a little bit more vigour start my arrangement I'm just putting some filler stems all around the edges and that will help create a scaffolding and I'll put the bigger flowers in later because they're the ones that we really want to see. I'm just now starting to position some of the slightly larger heads. And this is my floral arrangement called Whack It MNC Reproduce. So I've spent all spring and summer tying in these bees and Zoe doesn't really want to show them because I'm due to do it later today. So there's a few dead heads. But all the work I do is not appreciated at all. Look, pretty good. That's right. Taking a step back, measuring and then placing the stems. Little twiddle to get them through the chicken wire and then just drop them. Oopsie daisy, it's fiddly to do it with one hand. Drop them into place. There we go. Now you can of course make a much taller arrangement if you want to. The stems are plenty big enough and there's still masses in the garden. 
However, if you do make a bigger, taller arrangement, then you will need more flowers. So just bear that in mind when you're cutting your stems. If your vase looks a bit sparse, maybe cut them down a bit more or choose a slightly smaller vase. Homegrown wonky stems like this one come in incredibly handy. Can you see, we've got the lip of the vase there and then we've got the flowers. So I can cut this one down to size and it will slot straight in that space. And there we go, super simple. Hammy flower arrangement. Absolutely stunning. And now of course you can add some extra flowers of different varieties if you want to. Fast forward 24 hours and the arrangement is looking better than ever. And next to them are the stems that we seared. So they're not completely straight because they weren't straight on the plant. Searing will increase the water uptake but it won't make them straight, it's not a miracle worker. But they are now plenty sturdy enough to use in your vases and arrangements. Look at that, standing bolt upright. And if you look carefully, you can see the mark where I seared them with boiling water and that's now allowing the stem to take up water, not just from the end, but from this whole section here. They will wilt initially. So when you first plunge them in water, they'll probably double over, but don't worry, just leave them, leave them overnight, come back in the morning and then you'll find that they're all standing upright again. Just bear in mind when searing stems that if you then trim them down, you're going to have to sear them again because otherwise you'll be back to square one and they'll only have the very end to take the water up. I'm just going to leave them the length that they are and then work out where they can go in the arrangement to be the right height. 